So as I record this, the moon is currently in Sagittarius, but um, it's about to transit into Capricorn and I already feel the energy is early, so I want to speak on it. So let's get into it. Sun in Virgo, Trine, Moon in Capricorn. This is the gift of limiting what doesn't work anymore and analyzing what does work at the moment. You feel me? Because you can only pay attention and focus and put your energy into so much shit at once, right? So we have to limit certain energies from um, overtaking us, any thoughts and feelings that over consume us and distract us. We have to limit these things in order to have clear voice and a clear mind and a clear headspace and clear energy to be productive on the things we rather focus on that does work along with the thoughts and feelings we can use that does help our state of being to be more productive so that's going to be the kind of energy we're going to be experiencing with this moon cycle we're going to be building discipline that saturn energy we're going to be building discipline internally and externally with 2020 vision that virgo virgo sun energy so um with the moon and cat um we're going to be limiting thoughts and feelings that slow down productivity and with the sun in virgo we're going to be able to see this and do this with like 2020 crystal clear vision because virgo is precise and accurate at seeing the details and everything so we're going to be able to see the ins and outs fully of all the thoughts and feelings that work for us and all the thoughts and feelings that doesn't work for us and limits us from being productive during this Virgo season. You know what I'm saying? So, so then we, and then we're going to start to focus more and analyze more the thoughts and feelings that we could use to keep us in a productive state of being. See what I'm saying? Uh, now, Let's talk real quick about if you what how you might be feeling if you planted good seeds and bad seeds. If you planted bad seeds, how you feel about your status and how you structured your daily routines might stress or worry you if you've been planting bad seeds this whole entire time. Because you might have a weak foundation or a weak structure, that earth element energy, you might have weak results too nothing really tangible in the external to confirm that you're on the right path or that you're building um if you if you don't if you ain't been building shit since airy season when this new year started when the energies was there for you to initiate something to build upon if you've been slacking this whole entire time this virgo this virgo season gonna hit you hard and it's gonna put you in the overly anxious energy to try to catch up to what the fuck you should have been doing this whole entire time you're going to feel like you slacking or left behind if you've been lazy this whole entire time and you haven't actually been working and building on whatever you've been growing off of since every season. And that can apply to you internally and externally. How, how you've been growing and building yourself internally as a spirit and whatever you've been building in the external for you to survive off of in this life. Or not even just survival, but whatever you're doing in reality to try to help better reality or humanity too if you're on any respectable mission as a as a big spirit at least um but that's just for them um as for most people it would just be you know your external life situation and circumstance now that's so like i said if you if you've been planting bad seeds aka you haven't been growing and improving whatever you've been working on since aries season since we're in virgo season now and this is the, the improvement self-improvement sign the improvement season where we polish up everything that we all the new abilities that we've gained since aries season when we initiated our new selves into the new year if you ain't been keeping up with the transits or keeping up with the current then you're going to get washed up by this energy and you're going to be put in an anxious rush trying to catch up and overly work and over exhaust yourself 
when you should have been working on yourself this whole entire time, pacing yourself without slacking. Because those who slack on their own spiritual growth have to do a lot of catch up in order to not feel like they're being left behind, esoterically speaking. And they and, and y'all know and they know what the fuck I mean. If you feel like you like 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 you ain't progressing as a spirit and and you think it too and you know it and there's nothing correlating with internal and external progression then that's why you're in the energy you're in right now during this virgo season and why you may feel so anxious because you know in improvement season you you know you're going to get the pressure and the stress coming to you when you been caught lacking and not you know on your p's and q's pretty much um it's kind of like a quick 3d example of that would be kind of like being caught unprepared instead of practicing for your first sports game if you play football or basketball or some shit I'll just use a quick 3d sports analogy um or if you've been practicing for a comedy stand-up show whatever you practice for that's that event that you're about to perform whether it's sports or some comedy shit or even a musical performance if you ain't practice and and <clears throat> Practice makes self-improvement not practice makes perfect although both of those things are Virgo uh, Quotes Virgo slogans If you ain't practice for that big game or for that big event that you're gonna perform at If you're sloppy and you slack and you ain't and you ain't prepared for that event by the time it's It's time for you to execute you might fuck up and choke on during that song or choke during that comedy stand-up or or choke during your sports performance and flop or whatever you feel me you won't be clutch and like i said in my ver pros and cons of the virgo um video i brought up this too i think it was the part two one of that so so if you ain't been on your p's and q's this whole entire time since every season and building and developing and practicing and bettering yourself and all this shit then during this season um right after the spotlight season of leo where you probably did flop and you did fuck up or did choke you're now in virgo season where you now have to face and look at yourself in the mirror and be like damn i gotta do better i gotta self-improve and then this is why people who haven't been on their shit now all of a sudden want to be fucking motivated and hustling every day i i guarantee y'all i bet if we was to do like a study on humanity i guarantee y'all a lot of people get gym memberships during this time and then a lot of them end up <laughs> quit or cancel their subscription after virgo season because those are the spirits who was bullshitting the whole time they wasn't working on their body since aries season but when virgo season came around <laughs> They want to get their gym membership and build a build a perfect body now, right? And then, because they feel like they're being they're slacking on themselves, and, and if they if they care too much about the physical and shit, right, down to their body and shit, right, their physical body, because they don't have nothing else going on for themselves in, in their life or whatever. So <laughs> they go to the gym for a month and they cancel after a month. But I guarantee you that happens the most in Virgo season. How how much money y'all want to bet? Just because those are all the anxious spirits that know they should have been working on themselves since every season if they even care about that type of shit that body building your body up and shit like that you feel me so that would be a little another 3d example of how spirits get affected by this virgo season um when they when they when they plant bad seeds you get caught unprepared you get caught lacking you feel me <laughs> if you ain't on your p's and q's building up towards this time you feel me so virgo season makes you improve even those that have been slacking the whole entire time it's just that they only do it this season and then once this season is done then they get lost in whatever the next transit is which would probably be libra they might get distracted in relationships or some shit. you know what i'm saying that's just how low octave spirits get caught in the wave they're not riding the wave they're just like fucking in that shit trying to stay afloat in the rough current while wow, all the big spirits are on surfboards like yeah we already know how to do this shit we experienced this shit before anyway that's so damn that was a tangent my bad y'all now as for good seeds if you planted good seeds 
um, up until this point with this sun in Virgo and moon in Cap transit um, you're gonna be busy handling business and improving what you already built till this point since Aries season internally and externally so and that's pretty much links back to what I said earlier about we're gonna now have more discipline internally and externally with 2020 vision on limiting what thoughts and feelings slows down our productivity and then analyzing and pay, paying attention to the thoughts and feelings that help boost our productivity during this Virgo season. So yeah, yeah, I'm gonna just leave y'all with this one last thing before I go. Um, any thoughts and feelings that y'all encounter, if it slows you down and or slows you down from pr being productive and it's distracting you and it's limiting you and you know that these thoughts and feelings are in your way and they're not good for you, then you need to during, this is this transit right now is the best time to really take advantage of that sun virgo and moon cap to, to pinpoint the energies and shine a light on them with the virgo sun pinpointing it and then limiting it with the with the uh moon and cap or if if you ain't a strong enough spirit you could limit yourself to these thoughts and feelings and over focus on these things to the point where it puts you in an anxious energy if you let these currents fuck you up you feel me um so yeah limit those internal thoughts and feelings that doesn't work for you in the external i guess that's another way you could look at it um <clears throat> because the since the moon is in capricorn a lot of these things are going to probably be internally so if these internal thoughts and feelings are slowing down the productivity of the sun in virgo the external of it then that's when you know you got to limit those thoughts and feelings especially during this transit that's like the best way i could put it um because right now with the sun and virgo we don't care about thoughts and feelings right now we care about being productive in the external sun and virgo so yeah and then the moon and cap that's where we got to limit those internal thoughts and feelings that might distract us from the moment to get shit done you feel me so not only can we use the discipline of of Capricorn to limit those thoughts and feelings but we could also use the discipline of Capricorn along with the focus and um and the detail and the analyzation of Virgo to focus and analyze the thoughts and feelings that do work for us in the external you feel me and then we could figure out how to structure and use those during this transit as new abilities and new awarenesses we can carry with us as we continue further to other transits you see what i'm saying because that's the deep thing about this astrology shit y'all 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 gotta understand each transit each moon cycle is like an opportunity for y'all to pick up the perspectives and the traits and the abilities that could be given to you the awarenesses that could be given to you the energies that could be given to you the frequencies and vibrations that can be given to you during that transit if you're spiritually inclined enough to actually peep and learn and keep up with the transits you feel me and that's a and that's a great time and that's a great thing to do during virgo season too especially you feel me so because remember these energies if you're a big spirit you already know you're supposed to use thoughts and feelings like a bitch but with the moon and capricorn now you really know how you can use these thoughts and feelings like a bitch that that use energy that's that capricorn energy that's that saturn energy pretty much more capricorn than aquarius although aquarius does the same can can affiliate with that energy too but it's it's more is more it's even more strong with capricorn the, the the using energy so yeah with the moon and cap learn how to you during this transit especially with virgo take this as an opportunity to learn and analyze how you could use your thoughts and feelings to be productive and use that discipline to do so too of, of capricorn so yeah i'm gonna just leave it like that for y'all um that's my interpretation for these energies that's how i'm feeling right now peace